Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, the 19th of July, and I'm just driving around doing different service calls today. It's a bit of a service day for me. And I woke up to a message uh, from a client that I've recently done a pretty decent size VRV job, and I've made videos on it. Um, basically, it's coming up with a U1 fault. So, long story short, they had the electrical provider, which in Australia or in New South Wales is called Ausgrid. And they've come, I don't know what they've done, they've done something in the street and they've uh, basically isolated the power to the street or a few houses or whatever. And then at the end of the day, when they turned it back on, this brand new VRV system that I've installed is now flashing U1. So obviously the customers just rung me and told me. So U1 is a Dakin fault, which means that the phase rotation on the three phase air conditioner is backwards. So it's not a big deal. It's just there to protect itself. I actually really like that feature. Um, but it's, I've, this happens quite a lot when Ausgrid come and do work on the street. They don't do anything wrong. They just isolate the power. But at the end of the day, when they turn it back on, air conditioners go backwards. Um, so, like sometimes, it's a 50-50 chance. So, not a big deal. I'm just going to go in there, have a chat with them. The, the project is at a stage where it's done. But there's definitely some, like, loose ends that... I want to finish, like connect it to the home automation. Um, yeah, I think there's a grill we're going to replace. Um, basically, it. Uh, and I also want to give it a good clean and service before I leave um, because there's been a lot of dust and building work going around. However, just in this video, I'm going to go in there and just change the phases around, and I'll, but I'll show you the the process and the fault message on the air conditioner just for anyone that's interested basically so anyway i'll um i'll go in there and do that now and yeah come along for the journey <laughs> all right it's out all right so U1. This one shouldn't have it because it's a single phase unit. Three phase, single phase. Interesting. So they're doing some rendering and they've put this over the air conditioner, which is fine. Like, just have to tell them they can't run it. Alright, so we have phase one, phase two, phase three, neutral and earth. That goes to a fuse and then goes to the indoor units. Um, so basically, we're just going to swap. I'm going to swap this blue and the white one around. Just swap them over and then we'll go turn it on and see if that rectifies the problem.
done. That's all it was. U1 phase rotation. All right, so I got a bit of a story. So basically, that job, don't worry about that noise. So that job, um, like I said, U1 error because Osgrid cut the power yesterday. Now, a U1 error means that the phase rotation is backwards, or it could also mean that the um, it, it, like it may have dropped a phase. So I went there, changed phase two and three around, and the reason why I chose two and three is because that's what Dakin specifies on their, you know, their um, troubleshooting app. So, and I've always just done phase two and three since I was an apprentice. Anyway, so I did that, turned it back on, went inside, and the fault was gone. Happy days, I left. I've had a big day, and I got home um, this afternoon, or <laughs> got home. I was literally driving into my street at 4.30 p.m., and I got a call, and he said he turned the aircon on and still had that error. <laughs> I'm like, I live in South Sydney, this is in North Sydney, an hour away. And I'm just like, you are joking. Um, anyway, I was just like, he, want, he's, he wants hot air, mate. It's winter. It's a winter's night. So I just turned around and drove straight back. Absolute nightmare. But, um, you know, it's what you do. So he's a good good guy. I like the bloke. So anyway, I, um, I went up there and he was so appreciative. Now... I was confused. I was going up there thinking this could be a faulty board. Like I've literally done what I thought I had to do. So I'm just going to cut in here. Basically I've just come to the job and what I'm going to do first and what you're watching now is I'm going to just make sure that it hasn't dropped a phase. I want to make sure that it still has all three phases and then if it does I'm going to swap two phases around again now you shouldn't have to do that but I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure this has happened to me before so what I'm gonna do is first check to make sure that all three phases are there if they are then I will swap two phases around again, but this time I'm going to leave the unit off for 15 minutes to make sure it fully resets the fault and then go from there. So at this point, I've just confirmed that it does have all three phases coming in. So at this point, I was a bit worried, to be honest, that it may be a board, just because I get nervous when Osgrid turns the power back on, because it can absolutely 100% cook PC boards. I've seen it many times, so to be honest, at this stage right now, I was nervous.
Okay, so I've swapped two phases around. I waited 15 minutes, turned it back on, and lo and behold, the fault's gone and the unit's working perfectly fine. So at this point, I'm pretty relieved. Um, in the future, and what I'd recommend other people do, I'm going to, like when I do this, if you turn the power off, swap two phases around, and then turn the power back on. If you go inside and the fault is gone, and you turn the unit on, and it seems to be fine, I recommend you at least wait until the compressor kicks in. I should have done that, rookie error, um, but you live and learn. So, and to be honest, if you're gonna turn the power off, it's probably a good idea just to wait a little bit longer and just wait the 15 minutes to, so it can fully reset. That might not be required, but that's what I'll be doing from now on. Um, anyway, this has been rectified, all good. And Osgrid strikes again. Yeah, good.